all right so as i mentioned in my previous video i am working on that uh, curve path thing and uh, i'll upload that uh, project and video soon meanwhile i was working on this project and i asked myself can i instance animations on faces in place of uh, objects and the answer is yes so i started uh, working on that and i thought that let's make a video about it and uh, so here it is uh, i'll show you how you can uh, create this type of uh, animation instances and uh, some more tips and tricks about creating objects using the geometry nodes all right so let's get started okay so for this project i'm using my old uh, files so these robots i created last year and uh, you can also download these from my sketchfab account so i downloaded these and uh, i used uh, mixamo to create some cheering animations and downloaded this as a fbx file okay so here we are in blender and uh, this is the fbx file from mixamo if i click it uh, the armature you can see all the keyframes but these are up to 88 only so let's make this animation looping so let's go to non-linear animation and in here click on this push down action it will create a new action in the options you can save it with a new name and in strips if you go down in the action clip you can repeat it so here I can repeat it and now it's looping you can also increase or decrease the playback speed so this is basically useful for creating multiple variations so if I duplicate it and create another action here I can just start it from some another frame maybe from 5 and give it a little bit of different speed so maybe 1.3 and now we get two different animations okay so in the similar way i have created all these uh, multiple variations with those three robots and different animations from mixamo and uh, one more thing uh, i have created these uh, with simple uv setup and I have used this image this is a gradient texture image from Infensia and I have modified this a little bit I have added some more uh, gradients so to change the color of this is really easy these are all the body parts you can just select it and move it to another color slot and it's done okay so now let's make this uh, stage so initially when I was thinking uh, to create it I thought that let's make it with a simple cube primitive uh, but then I thought that let's make it with a curve so that we can change the shape any way that we want okay so let's create the geometry node so shift a add a plane click on new and remove this now I'll be using a curve primitive that is quadratic bezier let me plug it into output so now you can see this is the quadratic bezier and it has three simple uh, inputs start middle and end now i'm gonna create four of these four bezier curves so let me show you if i start with a, a kind of a square shape so i'll draw four curves this one this one this one and this one so the start and end will be connected to each other now if you see the start for this curve it is showing minus one and y zero so this is the start of this curve if i make it plus one and y also plus one you can see now this is the start of this curve so for this if i uh, change or if I assume that the X is the height and Y is the width so as per these quadrants this point this quadrant will be plus H 
and plus w so plus x and plus y this one will will be minus h and plus w so minus x and uh, plus y this one will be minus h minus w and this one will be plus h and minus w so i'll create all these values according to this so let me create uh, inputs for height and width so go to inputs uh, and in here click on this plus icon let's call it h and add another one and let's call it w so we got these h and w but these are all uh, positives so we need negatives as well so i'll just add a math node and i'll multiply it with minus 1 so this one is for h and duplicate it this one is for w so now i have got four values plus h plus w minus h and minus w now start plugging these into our uh, quadratic bezier so again for this i need a vector node that is the combine xyz okay so for first one we need plus h and plus w so it is already there because i have uh, input these here but let's plug the h to x w to y and plug it into start so it is on zero because we have not given any value so let's give it a value of one and one so here it is uh, for now let's keep the middle to zero and focus on start on end end so for end we want minus h and plus w so minus h is this one so again this is minus h and plus w is this one plug it into end so here it is so now i'll create four of these so again shift d and keep plugging these as per this so for the second one i want this the end to the start so i already have the end so i'll just plug this one into start and for end i want minus minus values so again i'll just duplicate this and both minus i'll plug it from here and plug it into end now you can't see this because to see this i'll have to join the geometry so let's join this let's join all four again for the third one the end of this is the start of this so again uh, minus h and minus w so this one is the start so i'll copy this again and for the last one i want plus h and minus w so here it is plus h and minus w this one will be the end for this and now i already have all of these values here so all i need to do is just plug this one to the start of this and the first one is the end of this so here it is here is our curve okay so now let's tackle the uh, curvature so this middle value so i'll again in the group input i'll add a value let's call it c for curvature and again i need four values so for these curves this one is plus y this is minus y this is plus x and this is minus x so i need four values again so i'll just bring it aside and c value uh, i need a combine x y z node again so if i plug it into y 
and plug it into x so this, these are the positive values and duplicate again add a math node again with the uh, multiplication of minus 1 so this becomes minus x and minus y now let's plug these into these uh, badges so for first one this one it is plus y in this direction so here is the plus y for second one this one it is minus x so here is the minus x let me bring these up for third one this one it is minus y so here is the minus y and for the fourth one this one it is plus x so this one but now there is an issue as you can see our curvature value is zero but our shape has a negative curvature and to remove this negative curvature we need to add height and width to respective x and y values so let's add a math node let me start from this one so for y we need to add width so it is straightened again duplicate it add height for x so this one is straightened and similarly add this value to these as well All right, so now let's make it a face and to do that uh, we need to fill this curve but we cannot fill it right now because this join geometry node is not actually joining these. These are uh, separate curves uh, right now and there's no node to directly join the curves but what we can do is that we can superimpose another curve on this shape. So let's add a circle, a curve circle and we need a attribute node that is transfer attribute and then a position node and a set position node let's change this to vector because we need vector values and index so plug this position to attribute and these curves from this join geometry plug it into target and now we'll set the position of this curve so plug it into geometry and attribute to position now if I plug it to geometry you can see this circle is superimposed onto these curves but right now it is not completely uh, filling it because the resolution doesn't match the total resolution of these so these have 16 values 16 resolution in each so 16 by 4 it should be 64 so if I put it to 64 it is completely matched up to the shape and now because this is a closed curve itself I can fill it so let's add a fill curve so here it is okay now let's move it up a bit so again add a transform node and bring it up and now to make the sides I'll use a curve to mesh node so again add a curve to mesh and simply add a curve line Plug the curve line to profile curve 
and this join geometry output to curve and finally again join geometry and plug it here you can change the direction from here and also you can bring it up or down from here all right so once you have got the uh, curve the closed curve and the face you can basically use it again and again to create more surfaces so now i am jumping forward a little bit uh, don't worry you will have this uh, blend file so you can just check out all these nodes by yourself so uh, all i did here is just created this uh, outer face so i took the original face and scaled it so here you can see this set position output i used another transform to scale it and the scale value i hooked into a new input node that is scale so now this is scale input value controls the scale of this uh, face and uh, this is the face where we will uh, instance our animations and to make sure that those animations are not instanced in the center uh, onto this stage i have just made a mesh boolean here and cut this face from this center face so now the animations will be instanced only on the outer side also uh, i created this uh, simple material so the outer material is a simple uh, material i used from uh, blender kit and these light materials i'll show you uh, if you go to shader editor i have used a simple voronoi texture with the object texture coordinate input to mapping and uh, this object input uh, allows me to uh, create the texture on the go so whatever the size is it will uh, accumulate the size of the texture and now let's uh, instance the animations okay so to instance these we need to create a collection out of these uh, as you can see these uh, skins are the child of the armature so if i select this one you can see the skin here is the child of uh, the armature so to create the collection you can just simply turn off this uh, overlay and now only the skins are shown and just select all of these now click on m and create a new collection okay so here is my uh, collection i'll just uh, drag it inside my geometry node and let me hide it and now i'll just simply create a distribute point on faces node now i'll input the uh, boolean mesh to the mesh and now instance on point so this goes to points and now this collection geometry goes to instance click on relative and these two and also click on pick instance now if i merge it you can see here are our animations we can just decrease the density and if you press play this will start animating okay so now let's tackle the rotation of these robots i want all of these to look towards the center so to rotate all of them uh, we need an empty in the center so let's add an empty and just drag that into our node editor so here it is and now i need two more nodes so one is the position and another one is the euler so align euler to vector now let's subtract the value of this uh, empty so we'll use a vector math node change it to subtract 
input the location in the first slot and position in the second. Now the output will go to the vector of uh, Euler and the output of Euler will go to the rotation of instance. Now you can change the uh, axis so we need Y. Now they are looking uh, on the opposite side so what we can do simply we can add another rotate so we will rotate the instances and plug it after the instance because it will give you the uh, local rotation the pivot point will be local so now you can rotate all of these from here so I'll just turn this Z to 180 and here it is now they are all looking towards the center all right, so this is how I have created this uh, scene and this is the final node setup. I know it's a little bit messy, but I have added a few more things uh, like these lights and this uh, center face all around. So uh, as always, you can download this uh, blend file. I'll put the link in the description. All the controls are here. I have added the density scale and seed as well. So this is the final setup and uh, you can render it out. All the animations will work as they should. And uh, I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you so much. Bye-bye.